A state representative is filing a lawsuit to support a self-proclaimed terrorist and his First Amendment rights. The federal lawsuit out today blames Allegan City officials, school district leaders, and advocacy groups for shutting down a January speech. 24 Hour News 8's Ryan Takeo joins us live in downtown Grand Rapids with what both sides have to say. Ryan? Brian, good evening. The lawsuit was filed today in federal court here in downtown Grand Rapids. This all started back in January when police say they shut down the speech because of safety concerns. Upset they were uprooted, this cell phone video shows the crowd expecting to hear from a former terrorist, instead filing out and finding out why from police. Now we get information that there's a $25 million hit on this guy and that people are bound by their religion to kill him. The headliner that night, Kamal Saleem, a self-proclaimed ex-terrorist turned speaker. Some say with a multi-million buck bounty on his head. At the time, police said it just wasn't safe. We were there to protect everyone. Personally, I may be wrong. I think the uh, chief of police overstepped his bounds on this one. State Rep David Ajima cited First Amendment rights then. Monday, he and his lawyer filed a federal suit. Now they're claiming it was because of uh, some sort of threat. State Rep Ajima's lawyer says there was no threat and possibly not even a bounty. This discussion of a bounty is something that's completely unverified. The suit sues Allegan police as well as city and school officials for shutting down the speech. It also sues a couple advocacy groups. They were bringing a, an individual who we felt was a uh, fraud. Dawood Walid said his group, the Council on American Islamic Relations, co-wrote a letter to the district days before, warning Salim is not the former terrorist he claims to be and is smearing Islam in the process. They should be promoting uh, diversity and understanding. As the fight between free speech and security could play out in court. State Rep Ajima is suing for damages, money in part that paid for the speaker's trip here. Walid says that the state lawmaker is suing for publicity. We're live in Grand Rapids, Ryan Takeo, 24-Hour News 8.